What is up guys, it's Brindamaster here and welcome to today's video. If you do enjoy the video then don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment and subscribe and hit all the links up down below to Twitch and Discord. Enjoy the video! What is up guys and welcome to episode 9 of my Billion Meister Mainscape series. It has been a long time since I've done the last episode of this. I've been doing a lot on my Iron Man lately and really hope you guys have been enjoying all of the Iron Man content that has been coming out because of that. Um, yeah, it was like the 16th of October was the last time I uploaded a Iron Man a Mainscape video, which was, yeah, definitely a very long time ago. But we've got lots of juicy clips and everything for you today, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and um, speak to you again at the end. There we go, quest complete, uh, chosen commander, free quest points, 20k agility strength, uh, don't unlock anything good here, but I can now go and unlock myself the minion mines, I believe, so I'm going to go do that right now. Coming in now, the first level up of the episode, 115 fletching. So I've made a few upgrades, been wanting to upgrade some of this for a little while, but I've done it a little bit cheap skatey, I've not gone the full way. So I bought myself a Praiser Wand, and I bought myself the Seismic Singularity rather than the Imperium Core. Tier 90 offhand rather than tier 92. It saved me like 180 mil, and I can't imagine there's going to be a massive amount of difference between a tier 90 and tier 92 offhand. Um, and then I've also bought myself an Orb of the Slower Elders, which I'm going to use as my flanking switch. Uh, so I'm going to try and get into a bit more AOD. So I thought instead of just using uh, my uh, SOS and not having a planted feet, no, I had a planted feet switch, but not having like a um, flanking switch or anything. So I bought myself this, and I'm going to swap to Dual Wield Mage and try that out for a little bit, see how it goes. Um, and I might sell the staff of Sliska and just get myself an Inquisitor staff. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll look into that. Not bad. 3k energies. Be nice if I was now. Oh, hey, Praiser Wand. Nice. Bruh, of course he would, dude. Of course he would. Oh, second dude. kill. Oh. Yeah, of course he So I actually managed to lose the audio for this clip. Um, but this is just me being traded the split from the Praiser Wand, which is awesome. Nice little addition to the cash stack. First Rago kill of the day down. What are we going to get? Hopefully we'll get a drop. Um, maybe not. Who knows? At least we get split um, energies. So hopefully we'll actually get a drop of our own though. And so there we go. First kill down. And what loot are we getting? Uh, no loot for me that time. Oh well. And the second Rago kill of the day. Going to get any loot this time? Hopefully. Cross our fingers. And are the drop files out yet? Oh, we got a seismic singularity. Oh, that is a nice split. Nice. Uh, awesome, so glad I recorded that. Yeah, seismic sig sig singularity split. And another Virago kill down. What are we going to get this kill? Uh, can we go back to back? Um, I'm not seeing a broadcast, so I'm guessing we don't go back to back. <laughs> and that is the last Virago kill today. Let's see if I get any loot from this. Uh, if not, I guess it's time to go uh, split everything. And oh, I got a drop. I got some rock tails and some tectonic energy. I'm surprised I got that because I'm not on Maniacal. I'm only on Dark Magic. But we'll take it. Uh, so this is just uh, totally t uh, trading me now. My split from the hour at Rago. I've got 54 mil from the seismic split and then 6 energies. Rounds us up to 10 energies each. I've got a couple more to get from Jay. That's a very good hour. First appraisal codex of the hour. Goes to misery. And here's my split from the codex we got that hour. 82 mil. Not bad. We'll take that. Definitely take that. Nice 2.5 mil drop onyx there. Nice. Okay, so it turns out we can't get one on our Iron Men, but um, yeah, we just got a uh, Drogo Rapier uh, duo split, which is going to be awesome. Um, yeah, but still can't get one on our Iron Men, which sucks. So we got 75% off on the Ottoman store again. So uh, as they got a limit on now, so I can only buy 50, so I'm just going to buy two inventories quickly. And I think last time I had it, it was like a million XP roughly in agility. Uh, so yeah, 500k and let's get ourselves the next 25 there we go and we've got them alone so yeah the daily limit now i mean it does stop anybody exploiting the treasure hunter thing but it means you've got to keep an eye out more for them because you can't use anywhere near all your ornaments in one go which is a little bit annoying so there you go there's my uh one mil agility xp got nearly three mil bonus again now so we'll just ignore the little death swiftness there and uh yeah we've come to do some ed2 runs still only need the pet for the title and i've still got 1.3 built in the chest so um be really nice to make over a bit more progress towards the chest being full or Hopefully get the pet so I can actually claim the chest would be really, really nice. Um, so yeah, we're going to go do a couple of ED2 runs. Haven't done ED2 for a little while. So I just hit myself on a new 1 minute 3 second PR. I'm not sure what my old one was, but I feel like that took a decent chunk out of it. Definitely, definitely like that. So the time has come to give my bank a bit of a tidy. But first I thought I'd give you guys a little look through some of the stuff I sold. So I sold all the stuff here, which is my loot from 10 hours of uh, Greg stuff. 
Um, then I done. Oh, there's a few bit more here that was still selling. Uh, then I went and did some Capsarius and sold a load of keys that I got yesterday. Tons and tons of them. Got a decent amount of money for that as well, which is pretty awesome. And uh, then I headed back to uh, Greg again. And it hasn't sold yet, but it's just sat in the G still selling a couple more things I got last night. Uh, which would be a de decent chunk more money. So yeah, I'm going to have a little tidy in my bank. I'm going to put this cash pile in my bank as well so I can see how much cash I make from the actual process of cleaning my bank. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and claim my Elite Dungeon 2 chest. Uh, i got just over 1.3 bill in there. It's dropped down a little bit. I've lost like a few mil out of it again. I don't know what's dropped in value. I'm guessing it's the Draconic Energy. Maybe, or is it the Barge Codexes? No, nope, I don't know. It's lost a decent chunk of value out of it since the last uh, was in here anyway. Um, so yeah, I've got quite a lot of stuff to out, and then um, the rest of it should just be able to be sold on the G. 42 Onyxes, that would be nice. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and claim that and sell that as well, and see how much extra I can get out of that as well. So I've got another thing here to sell. Um, so you can sell the Rune Arrows on the G, but they're only 151 each at the moment. They were a little bit lower over Double XP weekend. But if you come to this guy in Catherby and sell him here, they're 150 for each, and he will buy the whole lot. So uh, we'll sell the whole lot there, and he will pay me 249 mil, that is... One well-off bank guy. Well, he's not now. Um, he will be when he sells uh, them all back for 500 GP each, though. Imagine how much it would cost to buy all. Oh, oh, I'm so glad that comes up. Confirm 800 mil. That would have been like rip 600 mil. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, he's just made himself a nice little merch there, and that uh, takes the cash pile up to nearly 1.6 bill again. And uh, I'll get the recording on ready just in case we get a crossbow piece. So this will be our first ambassador down. One blackstone heart. Lovely. <laughs> awesome. Wouldn't expect any different. I feel like the effigy is definitely a rare drop from here, um, but we'll take it. And uh, some Onyx Bolt tips, nice. Uh, so I'm just about to go do some ED1 solo, but I'm gonna claim this chest from, uh, I just did an hour of duo ED3 with Jay. Uh, we got like just over three runs. Um, didn't get the fourth run, but yeah, well, it's uh, pretty good, so we'll bank it all. And um, yeah, let's go to ED1, I guess. Okay, so this is about to be my First ever uh, successful solo of Seriu. It only took multiple deaths throughout the dungeon. And I got 12 Ancient Scales, which is pretty good going. I think that's a decent amount. 13 minutes, 13 second PR. I mean, I guess that's okay, I suppose, for a first go. About two minutes off my PR? Yeah, 11.58. So I took nearly two minutes off the PR. What did I get that time? Nine Ancient Scales. So that's not too bad. I got 21 in two runs. Pretty good. So this is my first, uh, third Seriu kill down. There we go, new PR, 10 minutes 50, so I took a little bit more off it, and I got another 10 Ancient Scales, which is awesome. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it here for today, but yeah, I'm actually pretty happy that I can actually do ED1 in a fairly efficient way now. It actually feels quite good. Um, so we'll go have a quick look at the chest, and then um, we'll sign out from there. Uh, so I've done three runs. Um, apart from the first run, I died loads on the first run. I died tons and tons of times. Um, but the second and third run, I didn't take a single death at all. Um, and I'm up to 30 mil in the chest already, which is absolutely awesome. So I'm going to bank all that and uh, sell it off. And uh, may potentially come and do some more of this a bit later or tomorrow. And we just got another Seru kill. And I just got the pet on uh, 4kc. Um, yeah, uh, no scales, but yeah, pet on 4kc. That's, um, yeah, that's something pretty spectacular there. I don't know how, uh, I don't know how uh, that happened. I'm like 300kc at ED2. And um, yeah, I just got a 4kc pet. Um, that's absolutely that really awesome. <laughs> I'm definitely very happy with that. Okay, so just got to finish off the last crystal now. 7k life points to go. Nice and easy. We'll get it with a little tendrils. Okay, we'll get it with the basic one most pretty much. And we get 13 ancient scales. Nice. Oh, it's double to 26. That's actually a pretty decent drop. Um, gonna go have a little look how much is in the chest now. So I'm just gonna quickly claim my ED1 chest. Um, done six runs. Um, so, uh, yeah, 60 mil from six runs. Not too bad. About 10 mil a run. Uh, the most I got was 26 scales. Most of them were like 7, 10, 14, that kind of amount. Um, so yeah, we're going to bank all that. Nice 60 mil in the bank. Nice. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, it's a little bit of a shorter video than it normally would be. Uh, but like I said, I've been doing a lot on my Iron Man lately, so I haven't been playing my main massive amount. But yeah, we're just here, chilling out, finishing off, and uh, with my lovely pet, my nice new pet, 20 Saryu kills now. Absolutely awesome. But anyway, guys, I thank you very much for watching. Really hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. There are also links in the description to Twitch and Discord. And also, if you'd like to, don't forget to come and chill in the clan chat, the casual IM. Um, and if you're an Iron Man, you can come and actually uh, join the clan chat as well. Until next time, guys, see ya.